Welcome to Loose & Company's how-to video series demonstrating our local lock line of hands wagers. In this video, we will, be, we will be demonstrating the proper use of our number one SC hand swaging tool. This is a five cavity tool capable of swaging 1 16th through 3 16th aluminum and copper oval and stop sleeves and is proudly made here in the USA. Each of our tools come individually boxed and labeled with our part number and lot number and come with a complete set of instructions to guide you in the proper operation of our hand swagers, as well as a parts list should your tool ever need to be repaired. This tool also comes with a go gauge for checking the finished after swage dimension of your fitting. A packet of grease is also included to keep your tool operating smoothly over the course of time. Notice the snap over center action when the tool is put into the closed position. This ensures that each compression of the tool is complete. Notice the warning label on each of our tools. You will want to make sure that you are not using the tool around electrical wires or in an electrical panel and always use safety goggles and protective gear. The jaws of the tool are clearly marked to identify the size of the cable that is to be used with each cavity. Lucent Company highly recommends the use of our Felco cable cutters. These cutters are made in Switzerland and are by far the best cable cutters on the market. The V-shaped construction of the blades are designed to compress the individual strands of the cable as you make the cut so that it gives you a clean angle cut every time. This allows the operator to quickly put on the desired fitting without any frayed or loose wires. For this demonstration we will be making a loop. You will notice that the cable easily passes through the oval sleeve and can easily be formed into a loop. It is important to note that whenever attaching a fitting of this type that you leave a tail at least one cable diameter protruding from the fitting. This ensures that the cable is compressed over the entire length of the fitting. For this demonstration we will be compressing a 3 16 oval sleeve which requires the largest rear cavity of the tool. Starting at the end of the fitting furthest from the loop, begin to make your first compression. After the first compression, we recommend that you use the supplied go gauge to check the finished after swage dimension using the corresponding cavity in the, in the gauge. The gauge should pass easily over the swaged area. Since this is a 3 16 diameter cable, the instructions dictate that four compressions need to be made to complete this attachment. Continue by making the next three compressions over the length of the fitting, working your way towards the loop. After each compression, rotate the loop 180 degrees to keep the sleeve from bending. The compression should be spaced evenly over the entire length of the fitting. Upon completion, check each compression with the go gauge. This properly swaged fitting will generate full braking strength on the cable. All of our local lock tools are fully adjustable. If your local lock hand swager should ever fail to make a swage that will not pass the go gauge, you can adjust the hand swager using an Allen wrench by making one quarter increment turns until your tool produces a swage that will pass the go gauge. This concludes our video demonstration. Thank you for watching.